With this one emulsifier, you can get three different emulsion textures to achieve three different kinds of products. Today we will be making an aloe vera lotion, a hydrating serum, and a soothing oat cream. These are great DIYs if you are just starting out in formulating, and maybe you just want to try making an emulsion and try some actives. Later on you can perfect these formulations to improve them to your liking, and maybe add even more actives. When you first start formulating, it can get overwhelming with all the different ingredients you can include and what emulsifier should I even use for which product. This is why I wanted to make these formulations as simple as possible with very simple ingredients that are easily accessible. Before we start with the first emulsion, we want to get to know our emulsifier better and see what it can do on its own. Montanov 202 is a naturally derived oil and water emulsifier that creates ultra light and white emulsions. Unlike other emulsifiers like Emulsifying Wax NF, it is considered natural because it is made from plant sources instead of petrochemical origins. Like Olive M1000, it creates a liquid crystal lamellar structure which feels very nice on the skin and is actually quite nourishing. If you want to understand what a liquid crystal structure means, check out my introductory video on Olive M1000 where I explain all of this in more detail. Montanov 202 can be found in many commercial products like the Inky List Acne Clearing Moisturizer, Neil's Yard Body Cream and many sunscreen formulations like Native Face Lotion and Super Goop Mineral Lotion. Now, I don't know about you, but in summer my skin tends to be on the oilier side, so I like to use really lightweight products. So this emulsifier will be my go-to for the hot summer months. Montanov 202 is great for oily skin types as it has a mattifying and softening effect on the skin, which is probably why it is found in many sunscreens. This emulsifier is also very good with electrolytes, something that doesn't play well with all emulsifiers and causes stability issues. Emulsions with Montanov 202 also remain stable at a lower pH, which means we can easily add chemical exfoliants like AHAs, like I did in this exfoliating lotion I posted a few months ago. If this wasn't enough to make you fall in love with Montanov 202, this next point surely will. It is a palm oil free emulsifier, which is quite rare for emulsifiers to be because it is made from weed, maize or manioc combined with a fat from rapeseed oil. It is therefore completely nature derived and cosmos approved. For starters, I made three very basic formulations with different emulsifier and oil concentrations. I didn't even add any fatty alcohols or gums at this stage because I really wanted to see how this emulsifier behaved in these simple emulsions. So we have 3% Montanov and 10% oil, 4% Montanov and 20% oil, and 5% Montanov and 30% oil. As you can see, the emulsifier doesn't thicken too much, but it is very good at emulsifying large amounts of oil. As you can see though, using only an emulsifier does not lead to a stable product. To stabilize and thicken these emulsions to our liking, we will need to add some co-emulsifiers and gum. If you like this style of video and breakdown, you will love this next project I'm working on. I set up a Patreon page where I'll post two exclusive videos a month with more in-depth breakdowns of ingredients like this, along with reverse formulations of popular products and other exclusive formulas. I currently have a breakdown of Olive M1000 and the different textures it can create, as well as a super nice creamy serum base I made with Olive M1000 that has the lowest amount of soaping I've been able to achieve. It is just 5 euros a month, you can cancel at any time. So thank you so much in advance for your support and I look forward to seeing you over there. Now that we have covered the basics for Montanov 202, we can start having some fun creating more custom formulas. Our first emulsion will be an aloe vera lotion that feels light and refreshing on the skin. It contains almost 70% water and I was going more for the second Montanov texture with 4% emulsifier and 20% oils. Aloe vera has anti-inflammatory and wound healing properties. It is perfect to use during the summer when we are exposing our skin to the elements more. Using a powdered version like this ensures that all the irritating compounds have been removed from the plant and there are no impurities in the final product. To make this, start by weighing out your oil phase where we add caprylic capric triglyceride, jojoba oil, Montanov 202, Benihil alcohol and xanthan gum. I'm using Benihil alcohol for this formulation as it is such a lightweight fatty alcohol that feels powdery on the skin and it is palm oil free. So we are continuing with the palm oil free theme here. 
You could also use cetyl or cetyl alcohol, which would also feel very lovely. By the way, I will have an upcoming video on Patreon that looks at different fatty alcohols in a Montanov 202 emulsion to see the impact they have on viscosity and skin feel. So if you've ever wondered what the difference is between all these fatty alcohols, check out my Patreon for more information. Once the oil phase is done, place it on the heat and let's measure our water phase in a separate beaker and take a measure of the full beaker just so we can add any evaporated water back in later. Also place this phase on the heat. Once both phases have reached a temperature of 80 degrees, add your oil phase to the water phase and blend at high shear for 1-2 to two minutes. Keep the blender still and avoid to move it so much so you don't introduce too many air bubbles. While the emulsion cools down a bit, we can prepare our phase C ingredients, which will be our glycerin, aloe vera powder, hydrosol and preservatives. I definitely recommend swapping the glycerin for pentolin or propane diol if you can, because these are preservative boosters, which is always good because, you know, safety first. Add phase C to the main phase when the main phase has reached a temperature of under 40 degrees. If you love Montanov 202 as a lotion, then check out my exfoliating lotion with alpha hydroxy acids to gently exfoliate the skin, which is a great product for summer smooth legs. Our next emulsion will be our hydrating serum with panthenol and glycerin. At first I wanted to make it with hyaluronic acid, but the soaping was way too bad, so I'm gonna save this one for another emulsifier and I will be sure to update you when I figured it out. Instead we will be using panthenol and glycerin. In a pure water-based formula, these two ingredients tend to feel sticky, but I haven't found this to be the case in this formula, thanks to the Montanov and the other ingredients. It glides beautifully on the skin and absorbs so fast. Panthenol or vitamin B5 is a nature identical humectant and emollient that binds to water to keep our skin hydrated and protected from environmental stressors. I did not use it for the longest time because I thought it was not Cosmos approved and maybe it wasn't up until recently because now I actually spotted it in the list of approved ingredients so clearly a plant source has been found for this ingredient. Before it used to be petroleum based but now there's actually some naturally derived ones from biofermentation of corn. Green chemistry is so cool. Although panthenol in general is widely available for home formulators, it will probably be tough to find the nature-derived version of it. That doesn't mean you're powerless though. Feel free to reach out to your cosmetic supplier and ask if they can source it from plant-based sources. More often than not, they are super open for it if there's enough demand. And if your brand, it is easier to source it from a plant-based, Cosmos approved source. You could even use this as your marketing story and have an edge over the competition. Hopefully all the other big players like L'Oréal are using a plant-based panthenol instead of the petroleum derived one. So anyways, back to the formula. This is a very lightweight runny emulsion. I took inspiration from the consistency of the 3% emulsifier with only 10% oil, but instead I tried with just 5% oil and I got this super light texture that I really wanted. We are using only capric triglyceride to make sure the product is very lightweight because we will be applying a moisturizer on top of that. You don't have to use caprylic triglyceride though, you could also use cocoa caprylate, isomyl laurate or even better squalane. So the process is very similar to the first formulation. Measure the oil phase and heat to 80 degrees. Measure the water phase and take note of the full beaker weight. Heat also at 80 degrees. Remeasure and add back any water lost. Add the oil to the water. Blend for one to two minutes. Add phase C while it's still warm, just so we can get it well incorporated in the emulsion. I just didn't want to heat these ingredients. Wait for the cream to cool down a bit to 50 degrees. Finally, add the rest of the cool down phase like our preservative and anything else. Our final product is a nourishing oat moisturizer to seal in all the moisture from our hydrating serum. It definitely has more body than the previous two formulations because I added some cetyl alcohol to make the product thicker. It also contains some jojoba oil which is an amazing non-comedogenic oil for the face.
You can totally use each emulsion differently to what I described. For example, the serum could become a milky lotion and the lotion could become a face cream for dry skin. Try them out and see for yourself which product feels best on your skin. For me, this Montanov 202 experimentation showed that this emulsifier works best as a lotion or really fluid serums, which is what it was actually intended for. As you can probably tell, these emulsions can produce a bit of soaping. It's super minimal and doesn't bother me much because the creams quickly absorb into the skin. That being said, there are so many ways you could improve these formulas. On my Patreon channel, I have posted a formula that is my best Olive M1000 cream yet. It has a beautiful skin feel because of three ingredients I added in that to make the application so nice and it keeps the soaping at a minimum. It's a combination of ingredients I often found in other commercial products, so make sure to subscribe to get access to this industry secret.